A surveillance video shows the last moments Caleb Harris was seen before he seemingly vanished on March 4th around 3 a.m. He's wearing a white. He's wearing white. He's also wearing a baseball cap there. He's seen here with two friends and the dog he was walking outside of his apartment complex. Well, now his family is doubling their reward to $50,000 to try to get information leading to Caleb's safe return home. And joining me now is Caleb's fa father, Randy Harris. Uh, Randy, and thank you so much for giving me some of your time. I hate that we're speaking again because it means Caleb still hasn't come home. Late last week, police released this more detailed timeline of the time you know, leading up to his disappearance. Is there anything that stands out to you as his father? Um, no, not right now. I mean, it, it's, it's as accurate as we can be at this point. Um, you know, we're hoping for some additional information, um, you know, in the very, very near future that maybe we'll change that or it gives us a little bit better um, direction. Um, but uh, right now the police are doing their job and a good job and, and we just got to go with, with what they're doing right now. Absolutely. How much information are investigators able to tell you? I don't know how much they can keep you in the loop when it comes to, to tips coming in that could possibly lead to finding Caleb. Well, with the reward, we are getting a lot of tips. Most of them, um, you know, are, are more just maybe think they saw him or, you know, how can they help and things like that. We haven't really got any uh, solid tips just yet, but we're with raising the, the award amount. Hopefully, um, you know, somebody will, you know, step up and and um, take us up on it. We'd, we'd like to see that happen. Absolutely. And I know right now we don't know what happened to Caleb. Part of this timeline, though, shows that shortly before his communication ended, he had sent a Snapchat photo to one of his high school friends uh, of what police say is a small bridge over a drainage ditch near his apartment. Uh, Randy, do you know if investigators have or are taking a closer look around that area? Absolutely. Um, even even the second day into this, um, you'll, you'll see in those videos you're showing there, I mean, there was a tremendous amount of effort, especially at that location, not only from uh, the authorities, the search and rescue teams, additional search and rescue teams, uh, and, and the college kids. I mean, that area uh, was was hand to hand walking, hand to hand walking in the creek. The creek wasn't flowing at the time, so it's just a muddy bottom creek. And into that uh, little bridge, you know, it's very easy to see into. Um, very thoroughly, you know, search. Uh, yeah. area up and down that creek line. So, so, Randy, give us an idea of Caleb's personality. You know, what kind of young man is he? Is, is he the type uh, of person that would just decide at 3 a.m. to get up and leave? Not at all. Not, not at all. Very a creature of, of habit and uh, not something that he would do. You know, even, even with his closest friends or his roommates, um, that's... Un, very uncharacteristic of Caleb for sure. He would not do that. Plus, you know, we we feel almost 100% that he was barefooted. He just, he, you know, he didn't have his wallet, didn't have his keys, truck is locked, drives his truck wherever he needs to go. But we, very uncharacteristic. Okay. And is there anything else? I know you've, you know, expressed confidence uh, in police and in, in the investigation. Is there anything else you'd like to see happening with this investigation, with the direction that it's going? Um, well, we'd just like to have some answers, you know, um, I, you know, we're not getting a whole lot of answers, but it's understandable uh, if there are leads that they, that they are looking at that they're not going to share a whole lot of information there. So, you know, we just have to keep our faith um, that, that everybody's doing what they what they need to be doing. Um, ideally, with the reward money, that, that's that's the big push. And we're still also really, really pushing everybody. Uh, not only in Corpus, but, you know, there's a good chance he's not here. I mean, there's a good chance he may have, you know, maybe in another part of the state or country. And so we're we're urging, and thank you for having this in a, in a national platform, because I think that's what we need, and urging everybody to not only keep on the lookout for him, but 
you know, check your ring cameras periodically and just see if you see something. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.